Hi, I'm Jim N4BFR with the basics from the Hamtech library and today we're going to talk about the basics of balance. So what is a balance? A balance is something that goes from a balanced line to an unbalanced line and I think we need to explain what balanced lines and unbalanced lines are before we go any further. So let me give you an example. Here's your coax cable. On the back of your, on the back of your radio, most radios, at least in the last couple of decades, connect via some sort of unbalanced line, like uh, this uh, PL239 connector. Why is it unbalanced? Well, if you take a look, you'll see that the inside braid is different than the outside braid. Now, that is um, makes the velocity factors different, and transmits the signal differently. Unbalanced, now compare that to a balanced line, like let's say you're doing a wire antenna, and here's some, some stereo uh, wire that could be used for a wire antenna. That's balanced. Both sides are the same, whereas here, both sides are different. And that's really what you're trying to do, is you're trying to match up the same versus the different. So that's balanced versus unbalanced. Now there are a lot of tools you can there are a lot of tools you can use to make a balance and they range from simple to complex. Here's a simple one. I've made it at home. It has two poles. You flip it over and it's got a piece of coax that uh, connects each of the poles into uh, the one of the ends of the coax. That is a one-to-one -one balance in all respects. Now, it does not do any circuitry conversion, like choking or voltage management. So you may get some feed line noise, uh, and your antenna may use the feed line as part of the radiating elements to do that. But if you're out in a park, you want to get on the air, you need to... Uh, just emergency get on the air for whatever reason, this balance will work and it will get you on the air. Efficiency may not be perfect, but it will get you on the air. Here's another one that I've made uh, out of a T. So we've got the uh, SO239 there. And if you look inside, you'll see uh, there's a wire that goes to each of these poles. And I can mount this on the top of some PVC and it can be a nice little uh, connector for me. So no special... Uh, modifications there. It'll just feed both feed lines equally. Now, taking a look at some of the other balance I have, you're going to find a couple of different kinds of balance. The one-to-one -one balance, like the ones I just showed you, are for dipoles and for vertical antennas. And this is a one-to-one -one balance here. This one's made by MFJ, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. You've got a couple of posts to connect your antenna uh, elements to, and at the bottom, there's an SO239. Inside is some circuitry to help reduce the current on the feed line. So it's called a current balance. Other... Other balance I have here are four to one balance, and they're really designed for uh, off center fed dipoles or horizontal loops, or a lot of times when you see four to one balance. Just taking a peek inside here, one of these is by the Wireman, the other one's by LDG. No endorsement, just the ones I had around the house, but I opened up the LDG one here, and we've got some a matching network inside uh, that with a, a toroid and some winding will match your coax and uh, make sure that you are getting uh, a feed line reduction of uh, current as you go forward. Uh, lots of times ladder line will be connected to these as well. And on this one, uh, you'll see uh, by the markings, it has the radiating element, which is the inside pin of your coax versus the uh, ground element, which is the outside of your coax. This is the radiating, this is the ground. So you would want to make sure that when you're connecting up your antenna, uh, you're going to connect these poles up together so you get the right connection mm -hmm. onto your coax. Uh, similarly, up here, we've got a ballon by the wireman. Uh, the other thing to note here is this ballon is basically uh, 1.8 to 6 meters. If you want to do something 
different with your antenna, uh, such as a two meter or 440, uh, you would want to uh, use a different ballon. Now, a different kind of ballon you're also going to see is a voltage ballon uh, that is designed to keep voltage uh, off of your line. If you're generally doing, like I said, these kind of antennas, uh, uh, dipoles or verticals or off-center fed dipoles, you're generally not going to see uh, much voltage on your line. But where you want to, if you think you have this uh, kind of issue, I would definitely suggest, and I will put a link on the Hamtech library uh, page uh, to uh, DX Engineering. They have a really good conversation about when you want a voltage ballon and when you want a current ballon or a choke ballon. So, uh, what I've showed you mostly are choke balance. These are the most common, but there are times when you want a voltage balance as well. So check out the page, uh, check out the uh, information from DX Engineering and get out there and build yourself some antennas. And we'll get into more on antenna builds uh, themselves in future videos. But before you build the antenna, you need to have the balance and that's going to get us started. So that's the way I do it, and it works for me. Uh, hopefully, it will work for you as well, but there's plenty of other ways to do it too. I hope if you like this video, you'll share it with another ham. Like and subscribe for more videos. And 73, I'm in for BFR. I'll see you on the air from the Hamtech Library. <laughs>